Hope you learned what I'm saw you for more swim shot. That was the day. It's January 11th, 2021. And today we're primarily going to focus on the potential major snowstorm that could occur in the Midwest going into this going into late this week and it could affect the northeast as well with some lake effect snow and we'll obviously also talk about the southeast snowstorm that's currently bringing snow to louisiana and mississippi which isn't very typical to see during any time during any time during the winter especially this far south but before i begin make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather related content make sure to like if you like this video and make sure to share it with friends and family who may be interested and turn on post notifications if you want to see more so let's begin by first taking a look at the gfs model 120 hours from now and this is within the forecast range where i at least put some um pretty much puts um at least put some um truth that there's at least some truth to the forecast where we where within five days you it's very typical for the computer models to be right around at least the ballpark when it comes to a forecast however that doesn't mean much when it comes to weather because even if it's around the ballpark any small or minor differences in what happens over the next several days or what happens in a track could make a major difference in what you experience however the 120 hour forecast range is typically the forecast range where i begin to have at least some confidence to show you guys what the computer models are saying and as you can see the gfs is taking a decently sized mid latitude cyclone going into the midwest so i showed you guys this computer model yesterday and one thing that's interesting is that i'm noticing that not only the gfs but the european model has been leaning towards bringing this has been trending a little bit more southward when it comes to this low pressure system and obviously that would mean that since this low pressure is going to move further southward you're going to experience more impacts from this if it continues this trend we have to wait and see again even though like i said i have a little bit more confidence and show you guys the forecast five days out there's still a lot of uncertainty when we're forecasting something five days out um it, and it's to a point where it could completely happen or not happen that's how drastic the forecast changes could be so definitely keep in watch of that however i will at least say with confidence there will be a mid-latitude cyclone moving through canada and the united states where exactly where it land we still have to wait and see but as of right now both the gfs and the european mod computer forecast models have been trending further southward with this storm which would mean that you're gonna it's more likely you're gonna see more impacts with this. Let me show you guys a previous one. So this is as of 120 hours from now. And you see one thing that's noticeable is that the European model is taking a little bit more of a stronger storm than what the GFS model is taking at 994 millibars. The European's a little stronger at 991, but for the most part, they're very similar in terms of the strength and also in terms of the position which is definitely something we want to see because when we see both of the two main computer models the two of the most reliable computer models be in very good agreement in terms of the strength and the position of this low pressure system that means that we could conduct a more confident forecast and a more accurate forecast even within even when it's five days out but there's still uncertainty we still a lot could change with these computer model forecasts but i just want to point out that it's more likely that we're going that this scenario is going to happen because both the computer models are agreeing with it it's still far i was um, i'm gonna say it's still far from the most likely i wouldn't go as far as saying it's likely however it's definitely it, the chances definitely increase that this sort of strength and position of this storm 120 hours from now will will occur or at least something very similar to it thanks to both of the computer models um pretty much being in very good agreement that this is going to happen but you see that the european takes a 991 millibar storm further southward if i show you guys a previous run um you see that the storm is if we move a little bit further so okay it isn't showing the 120 hour mark but 
in my last in the last time I saw this forecast from I I could tell you that the European model was well further up north when it came to this low pressure track which would which meant that the US was experiencing less impacts and less snow from this however since both the computer models are further south more impacts are expected in the United States and that's definitely something to keep in mind all throughout the Midwest and especially the interior northeast and especially if you're along Great Lakes region because this could potentially be a major lake effect snow event because for one thing is that this is going to come straight from Canada and it's going to be sort of a very cold sort of mid-latitude cyclone where it's going to originate very far up north. It's going to interact with a lot of that cold air and it's going to be potent enough and with um, along with its winds to bring a lot of that cold air further south to the point where behind the storm there's also going to be a very cold polar vortex moving through the United States where you where let me um, show you guys a 540 millibar contour line which is a pretty much a baseline of where that freezing line that freezing temperature line is 32 degrees Fahrenheit and you see that just that 540 millibar contour line dips all the way down to the southeast which means that portions of the southeast could experience temperatures as low as 30s going into this weekend and you're and the entire united states is under just very cold weather conditions thanks to this polar vortex behind this low pressure system and i bring this up not only because the temperatures are going to be very cold going into this weekend. I'll also bring it up because this could definitely enhance the chance of lake effect snow because when there's such a stark temperature contrast between the between the air and the sea surface temperatures or I would say lake surface temperatures of the Great Lakes, that means that there's going to be a lot more instability right around where the lakes are and a lot of that and a lot of the warmer temperature temperature water um, that's still roaming in the lakes which is above average by the way is gonna be forced upwards and it's and the atmosphere doesn't really like when um, and since there's gonna be a decent amount of wind that means that the air molecules are gonna spread out to the point where it could hold more water vapor and since that and obviously since the lakes will warm up the surface temperature while the air temperature in the higher elevations will be much colder that's going to force a lot of that moist lake water up into the atmosphere very rapidly to a point where lake effect snow could be an issue right along the great lakes coast and it could be your first major lake effect snow event if this storm is potent enough and brings just enough potent enough northwesterly winds or directly westerly winds we just have to wait and see how potent and how south this will go however i will say that more likely than not you will experience some sort of lake of like snow event from this storm and you definitely need to keep in mind and keep a close eye on this mid latitude cyclone right along great lakes region and even if you're not affected by lake effect snow in the midwest and the northeast coast in, and the interior northeast you need to keep in mind of also just snow from this even if you're not directly along the lakes there's still this storm is still gonna break um pack a decent amount of punch with the moisture and this swath of snow it's gonna bring where you see that north dakota minnesota will experience some snow from this this extends as far south as illinois indiana ohio and this storm might strengthen a little bit as soon as it hits the Atlantic Ocean. This is further from 120 hours from now, so I don't want to go too far in the forecast to give you guys false assumptions just yet of what's going to happen. However, keep in mind that we're going to see a very big dip in the jet stream, which will mean a lot colder temperatures, a good chance of lake effect snow, and a pretty good chance we're going to see heavy snow th throughout the, the northern midwest at least in some areas and the interior northeast this could trend northward and maybe the northern portion of the midwest and northeast misses out on the heavy snow however i would say that more likely it's almost guaranteed you're going to experience snow from this and i think it's more likely than not you're going to experience major snow 
at least somewhere in the northern United States from this mid latitude cyclone. And I would guess it's going to be most likely probably somewhere in the interior northeast or right along the coast of the Great Lakes region where those areas will encounter the most unstable air and the most instability. So just keep a watch. We just need to keep in watch of this storm. If let's say the GFS model forecast is correct, which isn't completely out of the realm of possibilities despite being five days out because both the GFS and the European model are agreeing with the position and strength of this storm. Let's say the GFS model were correct. You see that for most of the Great Lakes region, it's mostly light, I'll say. It's mostly around the one to three inch category. However, you see that it gets heavier right around the Andorondacks and I and along and right around Buffalo, just south of Buffalo, you see so small, heavy bouts and they aren't and you can't see them very well. And there isn't a lot of them, but there are definitely some areas in the purple right around the northern Midwest and Northeast. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if these snow totals increase if the GFS or the European detects a little bit more of a stronger storm and gets a little bit more confidence that this will move further south to bring a lot more cold air and enhance that lake effect snow. So we um so there's still a lot of uncertainty for now it seems like that it's going to be a widespread snow event and major in some portions of the midwest and the northeast so i want you guys to keep that in mind and outside of this storm we have to also keep in mind that there's a snowstorm currently happening in the southeast at this point where we're seeing snow right around Louisiana. This extends to the extreme southeastern portions of Arkansas where you're experiencing lighter snow and then throughout Mississippi you're experiencing a decent amount of moderate to light snow in the northern portion as there's just enough cold air to change a lot of that rain over to snow. However, I don't expect this to be very heavy snow. I expect it to be mainly one to two inches um right around um this area because this snow isn't very heavy and for the most and, and you could tell by just how light the snow the snow radar is where you don't see a lot of the heavy bands um besides very unless you're very close to the rain and snow line and i expect in the, that area it's gonna get mixed with a lot of sleet so i don't expect as much snow even in that scenario so I don't expect much more than what you're experiencing. However, just keep in mind the slick roads throughout northern Mississippi and extending to northern Louisiana and southern Arkansas because although it doesn't accumulate a lot, you it still could cause some tricky road conditions when there's a little bit of snow or the um, on the streets. So keep that in mind and um, also you don't want to underestimate this because it's been a long time since you guys experienced a snowstorm in general throughout the southeast this far south so even just a, and i want you guys to keep in mind that even just a little bit of snow could cause major havoc so if there were to be that that surprising three to four inches you experience from this storm then do not underestimate it in any terms just because it's not maybe a at all costs just because it's not a foot of snow so keep um so um because three to four inches could still cause a lot of havoc on the roads and i want you guys to keep that in mind and in terms of the future of this this storm is expected to weaken as it moves further eastward because like i said in my previous video the stress stream is gonna straighten out to the point where this storm the low pressure won't have a lot of unstable air that it could that it'll it could work with and create convection and create a sh more potent storm as it heads eastward so um however there's it still will be there it still will dump maybe some snow in northern alabama maybe northern um georgia and throughout the appalachian mountain ranges of tennessee and and north carolina however it will weaken so there won't be as much snow as you head further east 
and also there won't be as much cold air back in this system so a lot of the snow you see here will eventually change over to rain um, as we continue to move on further into um, tonight and very early on Monday well actually this morning technically and into later on Monday so um, let me refresh this so you guys could get to see the radar the future radar so I get to show you guys how that snow this storm will dissipate and will eventually lose a lot of its steam as it heads further eastward and you see by 8 a.m. 9 a.m. and pretty much before noontime a lot of that snow that you saw earlier in Mississippi and Louisiana is nearly uh, is nearly gone at this point where Alabama and Mississippi at the most is experiencing very light snow um, being generous and um, you see by, by noontime most of the snow is all gone because this jet stream like I said is going to straighten out there isn't going to be the slow pressure is going to be far enough from any sort of ridge you bring a strong northwest northerly wind to bring component to bring a little bit more cold air that that would enhance the snowfall risk and also it's just going to weaken very rapidly to the point where you won't experience any sort of snow even in North Carolina and Tennessee potentially um so keep that in mind and um, the good news is you guys won't experience much snow beyond Mississippi and maybe Alabama so that's definitely um, good for those who don't like snow it might be a disappointment for you guys if you do enjoy snow in the higher elevations of North Carolina or maybe Tennessee but um, yeah there shouldn't be any snow expected for the near future at least um, in the United States um, besides maybe some snow in the Rocky Mountain ranges and the Cascade Mountain ranges and um, obviously we need to keep in track of this mid-latitude cycle moving through the United States and um, headed into this weekend but anyways guys I thank you guys for watching uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather related content make sure to like if you like this video and make sure to turn on post notifications if you want to see even more weather related content and i hope you guys have a good day a good night or a good morning whenever you're watching this